today we'll be talking about specialty coffee, the amazing coffee. 90% chances if you love coffee or if you drink coffee, you've come across specialty coffee. It has become popular across the world and people are loving the experience of drinking specialty coffee. And this is because of its amazing tastes and aromas. In this video, I would like to share with you my experience about specialty coffee as a specialty coffee barista. I'll be explaining to you the easiest way you can understand what specialty coffee means and the key factors that lead and determine a coffee to be called specialty. A specialty coffee is a term that is used to define a coffee that scores 80 points or above on a scale of 100. And this is determined by a certified coffee tester or a Q grader. This these are the people who are trained to test and evaluate coffee. In this process, they roast samples of coffee beans and they test it and evaluate it, giving it a perfect score, considering the quality of the coffee beans. In the specialty coffee range, we start with the 80 score, which is 80 to 85. This is scored as very good. 85 to 90, this is scored as excellent. And 90 to 100. This is scored as outstanding. Any coffee bean that scores below 80 points is not considered as specialty. For a coffee bean to be classified as specialty, it should score 80 points and above. There are many factors that contribute to this coffee to becoming specialty. And this starts from the coffee bean when it's still in the farm. The coffee bean should be planted on the perfect attitude and also in the best soil. It should be planted in the right planting season and also harvested when it's ripe and ready. These factors are very important to best understand how these factors all contribute to a coffee bean to be classified as specialty. I will be looking at the five key people in the specialty coffee chain, starting with the coffee farmer to the green coffee buyer and also the roaster to the barista to the consumer. Each of these people in the specialty coffee chain plays a very big role for a coffee bean to be called a specialty. We'll start with the coffee farm. A farmer plays a very big role in the specialty coffee chain because he's the one starting the process. He has to plant the coffee bean on the right attitude and also using the best quality of soil. This will help in the developing of the different flavors in the coffee bean. He should plant the coffee bean plant in the right season of planting the coffee and also when harvesting in the specialty coffee beans are hand picked. This is because we want to pick the ready and the ripe cherries so that we can have the best quality of coffee beans. Then the coffee bean is being processed by the different processing methods. All these factors must be considered so that you can result in with the best quality of coffee beans. And this is determined by a certified coffee tester or a cube grader. They do a capping session so that they can evaluate the coffee beans, giving it the perfect score. And this is where the green coffee supplier plays a very big role in supplying the coffee beans to the different roasters. Then a roaster will roast the coffee beans, developing the perfect roast profile which will help in the developing of the taste flavors and aromas in the cup of coffee, making it perfect for the barista to use. And if a roaster doesn't roast the coffee very well or burns the coffee, this will drop the quality of the coffee bean and this will also not be considered as special. Our duty as baristas will represent the chain of specialty coffee starting with the coffee farmer to the green coffee supplier to the roaster then it comes down to the barista. The baristas play a very big role because they sell out the final product to the consumer. Our main duty is to make sure each coffee bean that we serve to our customers is of the best quality as specialty coffee. We need to calibrate and also come up with a different recipe that match the different coffee beans so that we can serve the best coffee to the customer. So the customer also plays a very big role in the specialty coffee chain because it's the final consumer. And our main duty as baristas, roasters, green coffee suppliers and farmers is to work in hand in hand so that we can deliver that perfect cup of coffee to our customers. So one of the frequent asked questions to us as baristas is why most times specialty coffee beans are more expensive than other quality of coffee beans. This is because of the different scores. The higher the score of the coffee bean is the more expensive the coffee bean is and the best quality that you're going to achieve in your cup of coffee. Working as a specialty coffee barista is one of the most interesting jobs. If you 
would like to learn how to become a barista, I would recommend you watch this video. It will be very important. It's about what you need to know to become a barista. And I will also link another video on the basic knowledge that you need to make your perfect cup of coffee. Thank you so much for watching.